At the end of September, Angie and I quit our jobs and moved out of our apartment in Branson, Missouri to travel across the United States. At the beginning of October, we loaded up our Jeep Liberty and headed west. We finally made it to Kansas. We've been driving since 6 a.m. and it's now 10.37. How are you, Noah? I'm holding up. You're holding up good? Had some podcasts going. About to get back on the interstate, heading west. Our first stop's gonna be Colorado Springs. We got a friend we're gonna be visiting, staying the night with him. Traveling back to Utah. Utah. We're at this lovely rest stop in the Flint Hills of Kansas. Took a bathroom break. They got a nice observation point up here, so uh, we're gonna stretch and walk this little path they have. In the past, I've never really enjoyed driving through Kansas. I expected this time to be the same, but this time, I didn't mind it, and even enjoyed it a bit. Maybe the excitement of knowing that we wouldn't be returning for a very long time. This was the first 500 miles. By the time we made it to Colorado, the 10 hours on the road was definitely starting to get to us, and we had a couple more to go before reaching Colorado Springs. Well, we made it to Colorado Springs. Now we just need to find Jacob's house. After a great visit with friends, we headed north to get some last minute gear from the giant REI in Denver. You ready for shopping? Then after spending a bit too much time and money in the city, we finally made our way into the mountains. Traffic has been going on for miles now, heading back to the city. Well, it took us a while. It's dark and a little bit late. It's just now 9 p.m. But we finally found a place to camp. We're just gonna sleep in the Jeep since it's already dark. But uh, we're not... I can't even remember what the name of the place is. I'll write it down below, but... It's some BLM land off of the highway. I think Highway 245. Whatever we're taking to get out to Black Canyon. Babe, I almost got breakfast ready. So, how was the first night in the Jeep? It was cold. <laughs> Well, because I didn't use my sleeping sleeping bag. She and thought it, she'd be fine with a blanket. I underestimate Colorado. <laughs> it <laughs> probably like, oh, it's so warm in Missouri. It's so warm here. It's still, no, here it's not, especially at night. I think it got to probably like the high thirties. You did. I'm not real close to it. Last night, actually, we left the table out the side of the Jeep. There's a little bit of frost on it, even. But we did all right. She had her sleeping bag handy, so mm -hmm. I guess sometime when I was asleep, she got it in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is the San Isabel National Forest. It's absolutely stunning. The fall colors are starting to get real good on the drive as we get higher in elevation. We're uh, approaching Monarch Pass. Says the summit six miles on this side.
We made it to Gunnison, Colorado. We just stopped at the visitor center over here. Uh, we got some pretty helpful information. I guess there's some road work outside Black Canyon and the roads only open for a few hours each day, which was a bit strange, but glad to know that. We're gonna fill up some water. Mary in the visitor center let us know there's a water spigot out here we could use. Fill her up. All right, we're gonna find a grocery store now. We finished our grocery shopping. Couldn't leave the store without some chicken though. Mm -mm -mm. At the visitor center, we also learned about Hartman Rock's wreck area, a place we could camp for the night. And we're gonna read this info stand, make sure there's no weird rules we don't know about. So I found out reading this info that there's a road called Powerline Road, and if we're camping north of that, we need to be in a designated spot that's parked by, or that's marked by a uh, post. And if we go south of it, we can park in an established camp spot one that's already been used by people. Usually it's pretty easy to tell. So uh, it is good that we came out here and stopped and read it. So we don't camp in the wrong spot. Okay, we found an established spot here at the Hartman Rocks Recreational Area. Look at this. Even has a picnic table, a fire ring, what? And a nice view around the area. You got our chairs ready? Yeah. Very comfy. All right. Even got some shady spot to relax. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in following our travels, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Finished? Yes, it's done. It's the third dinner so we can finish. Ooh, looks delicious. In the next video, we will visit Black Canyon of the Gunnison's North Rim for our first stop at a national park of the trip.